All right, guys, guess what? Ian's Halftime Hangover Cure is back. I don't think I'm gonna call it Ian's Halftime Hangover Cure this year because I have people participating in this. It's gonna be like a collaboration and hopefully a multi-person collaboration from now on. Um, last year, I you know labeled it Ian's Halftime Hangover Cure all the way through. All right, so this year, we're starting off with Tampa Bay Buccaneers and obviously they have a seafood heavy menu so what i've got on the menu today is crab croquette croquettes so basically in the 1920s um people from cuba you know there were immigrants coming up from cuba and they were uh cigar workers basically they went on strike in the 1920s it says and they started making this recipe something easy and there was like an abundance of crab you know in the area because it's florida so tampa bay since the 1920s has had a staple of you know crab croquettes so what i wanted to do is rock that out so what i'm what i'm working on right now is i've got three loaves of bread basically right here that i put water on made it wet what you're supposed to do is take a loaf of cuban bread chop it up real fine add it to the wet mix until it becomes more of like an actual dough ball it's going to chill then we're going to make a flat you know flatten out some of the dough and then put the crab you know this is going to be mixed this right here is going to go in with the onion the pepper fresh garlic which i just baked in the oven and we're going to cook it all together. All of this stuff is going to chill. The dough, the dough ball that I make out of this and that is going to chill. The stuff that I cook is going to chill. And tomorrow, which will be game day, before the game, you know, I'm going to I'm going to cook this. All right, guys. So, I've got the onions and peppers cooked down. I added my garlic that I, you know, fresh garlic that I cooked in the oven. My bay leaves are in there. So now the next step is to add my water and my tomato paste to this. So after I do this, I'm gonna mix it around real well. And as soon as it starts to like warm up is when I'll throw in my crab meat. And look, you can see I got three cans of this crab meat to make the crab croquettes with. And, I, and also in this mix, besides the onion, besides the peppers and onion, I've got, um, I've got salt, sugar, a little bit of sugar, and crushed red pepper. And that's what makes them spicy because on line, you know, reading about the dish, they're actually, there's a nickname for them called Devil Croquettes. It's because they're spicy and, you know, I'd say that the part of the Cuban diet is a little bit of spice. You know, everybody needs to have plenty of spice in their um, diet. So, yeah, I'm going to um, get this up to a simmer and then i'm gonna add my crab meat mix it around for a minute cut it off let it cool and then this is gonna be my filling for my croquettes so tomorrow which is game day against the tampa bay buccaneers we'll see the dough and we'll see this cooled off and i'll build a salmon cro or a, a crab croquette or two on film and then we'll um we'll get the noodle dish going so we'll be back all right guys, here's the croquette filling. It's chilled overnight. And then here is the dough that I made. You know, I had cut the crust off of all the white bread, got it wet, then I added back breadcrumbs. Then when it was when I was done mixing it up, you just put salt and paprika in it. So I've seasoned it. This right here is what it looks like when you roll it up. And then you can see right here that I rolled the croquette in the breadcrumbs then put it in the egg and then back into the breadcrumbs so what i'll show you real quick is what i did um, basically what i'm doing it says three tablespoons of dough so i literally just been taking it by hand putting it into the three tablespoons putting it together making these so then it says one tablespoon of mix so i've just been doing sort of like a heaping scoop so there's plenty of mix in there so it's not all bread because you know it's you know it's kind of a carby type of snack so i'm not trying to have like too little of meat in there. So you're supposed to have the pointed end. So this dough is really thick. Like the whole idea, like if you're making these croquettes, you don't want a super dry dough 
or else you're not going to be able to get the ends to stick perfectly like this. So just, just keep it wet. Only use the little bit of flour on your fingers to keep the wet dough from sticking to your fingers too bad. And then you'll, you know, you'll be able to make a perfect croquette. You're supposed to have pointed ends. Well, I mean, there's three pointed ends, but I'm not making like potato shaped croquettes. You know, these are, these are my shape. I'm sure these are going to be fine. So into the breadcrumbs for the first, first thing. First step is get breadcrumbs on them. You put it into the egg, get it all the way wet. I would let any excess egg drip off of it for a sec. No big deal. You don't want to put all that egg right back into your breadcrumbs or you're going to, you know, make them not too good pretty fast. So flip it around a couple of times. Looks like I had a little bit of filling coming out of there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. It's okay. I pinched it. Repinch. My first one came out perfect. It looks like I had shoved down on, I shoved down on this a little too hard. All right, so, boom. so there it is. And then as soon as I get the, as soon as I get all these made up, they're gonna chill for a couple hours. We'll fry them and I'll show you the end product. All right, guys. So besides the crab croquettes that I made up yesterday and today, now Tabitha is stepping in and doing her thing because the dream team's back for the year. She's gonna do a Cuban shrimp. Like th this is Cuban seasoning on the shrimp. So this is gonna be a Cuban inspired uh, fettuccine basically, right? Did I say that right? Alfredo. Yeah. This is like a Cuban inspired, that's what I meant to say. A Cuban inspired Alfredo. This is gonna have a creamy sauce. There's Cuban, like you just saw Cuban seasoning on the shrimp. So we've got some uh, red pepper and onion sauteing down to add into the pasta. We're not gonna do more than the onion and pepper because, you know, our son will probably eat it if we don't put too much, you know, weird stuff in it. We're hoping that he'll eat the pasta too. So we're gonna do linguine, right? Linguine pasta. We're gonna do an Alfredo sauce, Cuban inspired shrimp. So we'll show you the end product of this pasta and um i'll fry up some croquettes and we'll uh get an end product on this and this is going to wrap up the first i don't think i'm going to call it halftime hangover cure this year i'm trying to get people to participate my buddy uh jerry ellen at cooking with neighbors jerry ellen is is participating this week i think there's going to be more next week probably jim's kish kitchen on the 19th for the cowboys game at the chargers so today is gonna be Tampa Bay inspired food. The spicy crab croquettes are also called devil croquettes. And then this um, Cuban inspired Alfredo. So we'll be back in a minute. All right guys, so here is the spicy crab croquette baked off or fried off. And you can see that filling that I put in there, nice and perfect looking really good and I fried these for about five and a half minutes and here's what they looked like raw I think you got you know you guys have already seen them but I finished up I think I ended up getting like 18 of them I fried them for like five and a half minutes so all you got to do once you they chilled out too once I made them you know they've been in the fridge for you know a good portion of the afternoon once they were done I finished them up this morning and so you know you need to chill them for at least a couple of hours this is probably more so I'm just gonna set my five and a half minute timer, which is about what they'll need. And as you can see, and that looks just perfect. And then I'll have a, uh, um, so this aioli is basically just mayonnaise, hot sauce, lemon juice, garlic powder, a little bit of salt. And it's, we're gonna use that to dip the, the crab in. Actually here, I'll try it real quick cause we haven't had anything, so. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, you guys. The extensive recipe, you know, a lot of people aren't gonna wanna take this on, but this extensive recipe is amazing. You can see that the inside right there, even after five and a half minutes, the inside breading is a little wet because of the moist crab, but it's not raw because this is baked bread with water put on it and then crumbs added back to make it 
more of like a dough ball consistency, like a dough ro a raw dough ball consistency. So it's perfect and amazing. And that recipe will definitely be in the description for the spicy crab croquettes. And they are amazing. So I'm gonna have Tab put her pasta. You know, I, I invested a lot of time, you know, Tab, of course, was doing a lot of stuff, you know, involving the children and cleaning. And last night while I put lots, you know, numerous hours into building up the croquettes and, and cooking the mix down and all that. So there's that delicious shrimp Alfredo. Here's a big pot of it. You can see that beautiful shrimp, the peppers, onion, Cuban inspired. Like I said, it's just going to be ridiculous. Okay. It's beautiful. And this is the perfect way to kick off the season. You know, like the, the, the champion team, you know, the Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Bucks. So, you know, might as well. Um, all right. So I was trying to show you Jerry Ellen real quick, not my watch history. All right. So cooking with neighbors, Jerry Ellen is who I'm doing this collab with. And she is going to be dropping her video for this day of football. She's going to be doing something delicious. I want you guys to go check her out after you watch this because she's going to have something involving the football food. Her and I are going to be collabing most of the season, if not all of it, all the way to the Super Bowl. Jim's Kitch Kitchen is getting in on this on the 19th. So real quick, besides shouting out Jerry Ellen, Maui Karen Ann. She has shouted me out at least once. They're doing a whole bunch of shout outs this week. So I wanted to pay her back for shouting me out. Cocktail Tony, he has shouted me out numerous times. Cocktail Tony's the man. Maui Karen Ann and Cocktail Tony are actually married. You know, they live together, surprise. But um, you know, they're a, they're a hilarious couple. They're always helping each other with their videos. It's awesome. And last but not least, my girl Deborah. Deborah's Delicious Dishes. She has um, shared my channel on her community wall numerous times, trying to help me build my channel, get my subs up. I deeply, deeply appreciate her. She's so fun to talk to and interact with. She has amazing food and recipes, just like Jerry Ellen does. And Maui Karen Ann does great paintings. And she just started doing food and stuff too, as you can see. There is, you know, in enhancing a friend's vase, secret bread recipe, and you can go back to seeing some awesome art. Cocktail Tony's got the hookup on the best drinks that you can even think of and just real fancy stuff. So check them out for me, guys. Jerry Ellen, Maui Karanine, Cocktail Tony, Deborah's Delicious Dishes. And if you're religious, you'll really like Deborah's Delicious Dishes page. So go for it, you know? So thanks a lot. Um, week one, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Dallas Cowboys. Everybody's picking the Cowboys to lose. Well, guess what? Dallas defense is going to step up. Um, Dak Prescott's going to step up. Ezekiel Elliott's going to step up. We're going to actually win this game. We're going to win this game 34 to 30. All right, so mark it down. They're going to be 64 points scored. 34-30, Cowboys win. I don't even care if I'm wrong, okay? Let's do this. It's football season. It's back. Go Cowboys. And anybody who wants to get in on this football food collaboration, you just tell me and you're in. It's that simple. But I have to know, just like I'm shouting out Jerry Ellen right now, and Jim for the 19th, I have to know if you are actually participating. Just let me know. See you guys soon.